Welcome to the History Help channel. Today we are learning about historical method and historiography. We have already covered a uh, history section. Today we will be looking into the analytical operations in historical methodology. So what are, uh, we have covered in the previous slide shows about um, positive uh, criticism, external criticism and internal today we are looking into internal criticism so in the last slide you learned about uh, positive interpretative criticism which is a part of internal uh, criticism in that we saw what uh, the real meaning and the literal meaning of the document in other words what we saw was what the author was trying to say here today's uh, negative interpretative criticism is actually the third stage of analytical operations. It is to figure out the elements of truth in a document, just like positive interpretative criticism. So in analysis and positive interpretative criticism, we try to see what author wants to say. This we do by seeing the literal meaning and the real meaning of the document, whether there is any hidden meaning, whether there is any obscure meaning, all that we check in positive interpretative criticism but in negative interpretative criticism we are more concerned with the competency of the author and the honesty of the author okay so we are going to check whether the author has been honest when writing observations we are also going to check if he was competent was he the right person to write about it so uh, most often things would have happened in certain way and how the author saw it, how the author represented it, all this we will see in the negative interpretative criticism. Two key words that you have to remember is we are checking competency and the honesty of author in negative interpretative criticism. So let's, so everything in interpretative criticism begins with sets of questions. We will talk about it in the later slideshow. Three things we have to note, okay. One is, see, an event or a battle would have happened in a certain way. But the author want, doesn't want us to know the true facts. He wants us to know what he, what he wants to show. That means he knows what has happened, but he doesn't want us to know the doesn't want the public to know the truth. So, this is first case. Author knows, but he doesn't want the public to. Second case, an event has happened somehow, but the author has also not understood it. So, because author is sincere, but he has not understood it correctly, he represents to the public also wrong. Okay. So, this is to do with his competency level or his beliefs. Okay. Third is, the event has happened and the author is also sincere. So, in which case the information is accurate. So, these are the three case studies or three situations that might happen when you come across a document. Either the author is accurate or the author is not accurate and uh, he does he is dishonest or he is not competent. Though he is sincere, he may not be competent. So, how do you find out all this? That is why we ask questions. So, there are two sets of questions. What are the two sets of questions? We will look into it. So, in negative interpretative criticism, we have two steps. One is good faith. What is good faith? Good faith means how sincere the author is. And the second is accuracy. How competent the author is. Okay. For both of these, we will ask a set of questions. So, first we will check how honest the author is or the good faith of the author. So, let us see what questions to ask. This is, this is the questions we are asking to check his intention, whether he was honorable or not. So, the first question we will ask is whether the author wanted praise. Classic example is, if you are a court historian and you are and uh, you are, you are writing about the king, the king has lost the battle, but you are writing that he has won the battle, or you forget to mention about the battle. 
why are you doing why are you writing wrongly because you want to the king to praise you because you want the king to give you uh, promotions or because you want the king to give you money anything so whether he was the author um, was his intention to get praise from the king then he wouldn't have been honest second question was the author following some sort of a rule or custom for example uh, let us say uh, he, he the author does not want does not like caste system but his the society in which he lives is has a rigid caste system and he knows if he reports against the caste system he will be in trouble or for example sati sati system he is not um, the author is not really uh, you know sympathetic towards the sati system but if he writes against it he will be in trouble so he will write false okay third question did he have was he sympathetic for example the people who wrote about hitler or the people who wrote about napoleon or the people who wrote about french revolution there are some people who are sympathetic to the cause and some who are not sympathetic so was the author any such person was he sympathetic or antipathy did he have did he have hatred in such cases also his the, the, the whatever he writes will be full of errors or it, he won't be sincere what is the fourth, fourth question he wanted to please the public forget about what has happened he just wants to please the public see for ex, uh, some of the example for this is british authors like for example uh, james mill he has written the history of india it is full of errors but his intention was to please the english or the england public so he wrote whatever pleased the england people he didn't write anything very much uh, he did not write a true situation about india he just wrote whatever pleased the english uh, back home then the sixth one the fifth one is literary issues says so some authors are there who just want to write who just want to write flowery language who want to use good uh, style in english so and they are not at all interested in representing the true facts so in all these cases the author is not sincere if he wants praise from the king if he is following certain rule if he is sympathetic or antipathetic to a cause if he wants to please the public or he simply wants to write well in all these cases the author will not be sincere so his faith is in question and so the document will be error so this talks about honesty of the author second one is accuracy or competency of the author for this also you have a set of questions what so we are here here we are checking certain information did the author do the observation himself for example if he was a general he may have uh, fought the battle or his soldiers may have fought the battle and he may just talk, he may just write what the soldier has told him so we have to first ask whether he did the observation himself okay if he is if he is talking about from a point of view of a soldier his observation itself may be wrong second what were the conditions in when he wrote did he write out of fear for example the author might write some information due to pressure due to fear so you should ask whether the author could be abul fazl or barani or uh, anybody any court historian was he living in the conditions of fear was he fearless or was he writing because he was pressurized to do so third was it a correct observation in the sense was he uh, there are some authors who always write wrong who do not observe correctly was he such an author okay fourth did he have any prejudices for example did he hate something did he love something in such a case also he won't write a balanced view he will write whatever he likes or dislikes for example badawi he had prejudices against akbar so his uh, one of some of his sources some of his uh, wordings was against akbar whether it was true or not it's a different story how was he placed 
whether he was whether was he near the event when it took place for example the battle may have taken place or an event may have taken place in delhi but he is placed in agra so was he in the correct place to report the um, information was he experienced there are some people like for example news uh, letter writers they may or may not have an experience as that of a court historian so was the author who wrote the information experienced enough to understand things correctly okay what was the nature of facts this is also very important see some of the secrets like cabinet secrets or strategies of a battle is not known to the public or for that matter even to a historian so uh, if a historian has written it was he really inside that of a cabinet was he really um, so much needed to the king that he knew about strategies you have to question that was the nature of facts very special or was it general so there is no need of any uh, false information or incorrect observation last question you will ask whether the author has been careless or he has been lazy for example you go to report some war but you do not go outside your hotel room you just check the uh, what others say what the newspapers say and you just write so were you careless or were you lazy so these are the set of questions that you need to ask was the author did the author observe it himself what were the conditions in which he wrote was it a correct observation did he have any prejudices was he in the right place at the right moment was he experienced or was he an amateur what was the nature of facts whether he was careless or whether he was um, whether the secrets were very uh, you know um, cabinet kind of secrets which was not known to public was he generally careless so if you answer all these questions and if you still uh, if you uh, answer all these questions you will come to know whether the author has written reported correctly so the conclusion is you will read the document whatever source you have as a researcher you will read the document you will check if there is an error in the document if there is an error you will check if it has been made intentionally or not if the error is deliberate it means good faith that means the author has not been sincere and so you will ask questions uh, which was related to uh, this slide show good faith of me you will ask these questions whether he was um, uh, doing it for praise or was a sympathetic what he wanted to please public and all that or if the error has not been deliberate then you will check the competency level of the author and you will ask the questions regarding his accuracy Thank you. And so next slide show we will talk more about synthetic operations.